VGC. Pump it up, ladies and gentlemen, because it's the last series of the day for Stream 3. It's OG versus VGJ Thunder. Whenever I think of VGJ Thunder, I think of uh, Thundercats. Why? Thunder. Thunder. Thundercats. Is that really? Oh! Is that really their thing? Yeah. Man, that's not Ten good. Seconds remaining. What? What kind of eighties cartoons did you watch? Five seconds None of them. Remaining. That was actually early nineties. I didn't own a television. Austin, I didn't know. I don't know how to ride a bike. What made you think oh that geez. I know how to do any of these things? What did you go through childhood without riding a bike? I don't know, dude. I had Asian immigrant parents that were too poor to afford a bike. That's what are you? not true. I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> you can't pull that card on me. <laughs> I know too much about you. Austin, I grew up in a field. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Turn to bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up in some angle. That I don't, don't know if I can fully explain how. OG versus VGJ Thunder are bands are underway. Will they ban the Weaver? Will Chen see the light of day? Ten seconds remaining. Have OG Crystal playing, Maiden? Have, has ever been Wraith banned? King? Five seconds remaining. Wisp against OG? Uh, n no. Because we had OG baited out Wisp against in our first series, right? Mm -hmm. VGJ they baited out Wisp turn to pick. Okay. And, and, that's true, that's true. and picked Morphling. Yeah, yeah. Although yeah, 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 yeah. No-Tail is, when I think of Wisp three years ago, I think of No-Tail. You no think of <laughs> three years ago. OG's turn to pick. Think of the Shining yeah. Flower. Well, they banned like Lycan. They banned Lycan? Okay. So they take uh, the Weaves. Why'd they ban Lycan? So they, they get a pick take nice Drove, fucker? first pick. Okay. I mean, Sure. You already have a Weaver on VGJ Thunder. Droves does not sound like a bad one, two. For the 18th game, I'd Ten like to see Thompson play remain. Lena. I do not want to see I that. don't want to see Thompson Lena anymore. Remain. I would like to give me a Thompson invoker. Oh, geez. Give Turn us a game where Chen. we talk about how ownage Thompson is. That's a Chen. Chen VGJ did make it out. That's a Wyvern. So they're going to one, two, both supports. They have, I mean, I guess you could run an off lane Wyvern as well. I don't know if Seb's been practicing that. But it is really good versus Weaver. We saw the effectiveness of that from Jerex. Oh, that's Avenge. Maybe it's Thunder that'll take Dro. I don't know. I feel like more people should be playing Dro. They should look at the games that the teams that are successful are doing and just say, man, there's a lot of Dro. So EG. And uh, Storm. Oh, and Storm? Yeah. Storm just owns. They just play the draw hero and then they win in 20 Ten minutes. Seconds remaining. It's great. Five seconds <coughs> remaining. Turn to ban. They're going to ban the Invoker. That's nobody is Damn it, EGJ Thunder. I want to see a Thompson Invoker so bad. Everyone talks about it, and I just haven't seen it. You've never seen it? At least we got to see the uh, Thompson Pugna. We saw that at least once on our stream. Ten seconds remaining. Some lady's voice is going through the stadium right now. Five seconds That's remaining. Fine. It's VGJ very important for her to say what she has to say. To ban. Lena. So we will not see a Thompson Lena today. We will not see a Thompson Lena. They banned it themselves. <laughs> OG's prevent. like, no, we can't <laughs> fall into that trap Whoops, any longer. We thought it was our pick. <laughs> our bad, Thompson. Turn to bad. <laughs> we'll get him. We'll get you next time. Dragonite. All right. Yeah. I mean, you've got physical damage. You've got minus armor. Dragonite pose a significant threat against those two. Plus the near instant stun on Weaver. Mm-hmm. All these things are true. <sighs> Dangerous stuff. Ten seconds remaining. Winter Wyver not only guards against the Weaver Vengeful Spirit, Five which they probably remaining. anticipated the Vengeful Spirit. We've seen enough of this duo picked up in the 1-2 by plenty of teams. But it also guards against the Draw oh, Ranger, geez. so they don't need to ban it. Maybe they'll pick it, but I, I feel like... 
they're going to have answers if it's a draw pick for VGJ Thunder. I mean, the Wyvern pickup is really nice for that alone, right? Mm -hmm. I think Wyvern's quite good against Weaver, too. As we saw when Jerex played it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Ten I agree with you. Remaining. You agree with all my analysis. VGJ it was good. Thunders, it's like a good preventative pick. And now you have another one that prevents it. Yeah, there's no way you want to play Joe Ranger. Don't play Joe Ranger. Don't play Joe Ranger. Don't play Joe Ranger. Joe Thunder, do not, do not copy uh, what... Abort. Do not copy what your sister Team Storm is doing. The mission has been compromised. Yeah. <laughs> Fate is like, oh shit, they know this is a secret plan. Yeah. Oh, shout out, by the way, to the uh, 40 people remaining. that don't know that EG versus Liquid is going on right now. Five well, there goes our 40 <laughs> viewers. <laughs> Thanks, Blitz. I was really enjoying having, audi having an Guys, audience. I'll tell you a sick secret at the end of this series if uh, you stay. <laughs> Just I'm going to hold you to that. I will. No G's. Turn to Necrophos. Necrophos is a decent answer to Spectre, right? Because she's such a tanky core. Mm -hmm. And you lane, very you lane very well against her. The percentage base is always really nice, too, because you know that she'll just continue to build tank up items. Yeah. And you can uh, Ten seconds do remaining. a little ghost shrouding All right. if he ever tries to go on you. All right. Five so just to update people remaining. on the standings right now and to so tell you what this game means, also for myself, OG are currently 6-6. Six and six. Fnatic are also 6-6. Six and six. So there are two teams right now that are 6-6. Six and six. And it happens to be, can you guess it, aside from Fnatic, it's Thunder and OG. <laughs> and so this game, if OG wins dose to z to zero, they'd be in a really good spot. They'd suddenly be after being getting bodied, like they were like one and five. They would all of a sudden be in the top four. So mm -hmm. if you're an OG fan, specifically if you're a no tail fan and all that jazz, whew, you did it. It was rough. It was a rough day. Like calm down, guys. Come on. Like it was a rough day. It's yeah, not like that you day guys, one was not pleasant. You guys aren't Cleveland Brown fans. Like everyone, calm down. It was one day, and everyone was like, "The sky is falling." Seb is the worst player. <laughs> Just everybody relax, real quick. It was a day. Everything's fine. Yeah, you're still watching this team at TI. Yes, they Unless they are not done. bottom. I saw a lot of comments like, oh, well, I guess next year we'll the, see what the Leakopedia uh, power rankings yeah. heading into TI, they've listed OG as a bottom team. I was like, what? There's no, no way. OG's not bad. There's and no way they're a bottom Now team. they're going to do it. Tree and Protector. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, it's 2018, and what? people pick Tree and Protector again, eh? Is, uh, which one is it, Blitz? Call it now. What? Is it Wyvern Core or is it Tree and Core? Is it Wyvern Core or is it Tree Core? Ten seconds remaining. It's you may think to yourself, if no, you're it's a viewer. It's, uh, it's Mad Tree. Five it's Mad Tree? Seconds. It's Mad Tree. Okay. He's going to get Leech Seed, not go uh, Invis, and just hit Yeah, people. he's going to go zero four four. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, I was about to say, the viewer you may think to yourself, well, I've seen Wyvern off lane. I've seen Wyvern Core. Of course it's Wyvern Core. It can't be Tree and Protector. But no, no. Not with OG. It can actually be Tree and Protector Core. And I've seen... At least one other person experimenting with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now VGJ Thunder is stumped. They are confused. You know who's been a beast, by the way, on this team? Aside from the fact that... Do you know who my all-time favorite Dota player is, by the way? He is in this DDC? game. DDC? Yes, it is. DDC is... I don't care what team DDC plays for. I am a DDC fan. He's my number one. I think he's the best five position in the world when it comes to mechanical skill. But freeze has been an absolute beast. Yeah. I never freeze. <laughs> Train Protector Living Armor is really good versus Necrophos and Weaver. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. Turn to battle. It's just like the general extra bit of survivability. Well, now you've got Avalanche that can help clear through those uh, damage block instances. I mean, you just... I mean, you don't really have a fighter, though, if you're OG. Like, because of this Tree and Protector, Wyvern situation with the Chen as well. Ten seconds. You just want some sort of really strong mid-game here, right? 
I mean, what kind of hero that remaining. are you thinking then? Like Alina. <laughs> Dude, I've, I'm, I'm counting up tops and scores in my head when he plays Lena, and it's not looking good. <laughs> it would look so good here against that Necropus like and Weaver, too. It's like 4 and, like, 30, if I'm just dead honest here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the hero or if it's a Thompson thing. Um, Which is weird. Thompson Pugna. Yeah. No, top, Pugna's banned. Ban. Thunder is like, <laughs> that's all we've seen. Thompson, you got to play something else. Uh, uh, monkey? Is it tiny mids? You can go Monkey King. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I don't. But if I mean, the laning matchup. Necro, the laning just... matchup is good, but then you still have a problem if you're Monkey King. Don't you just put Necro mid then? Ten yeah, seconds. you're just putting Necro and then, mid. Then, and then mid fine. game, Monkey King gets blown up. I don't yeah. think it's Monkey King. I don't think it's Monkey Five either. Seconds remaining. Well, then why'd you suggest it? Well, somebody from chat suggested it, and it seemed like an okay idea at the time. At the time. And then you put any analysis into it, and it falls apart. And then I thought about it for more than one second. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they still do it. Who knows? You know it would be a free game for? Storm Spirit. Nah. Dude, this would be a bad Storm Spirit game. You, you want something fast, right? I'm kidding. It would be a terrible Storm game. <laughs> what if that? No, it would be terrible. What if that? <laughs> but what if it? But what BGJ if it's a free storm game? Oh, they banned Huskar. Pick. Why Huskar? Beats I think that's the, the, the mid hero. The, yeah, I think it beats both Necrophos and Tiny. I see. And then it would just, again, it's a mid game monster, oh, right? Sick. That is uh, a good Phoenix. It looks like a really good Ember game. Yeah? Uh, it looks like a pretty okay. good Ember game. How do you do against Tiny, though? Oh, Monkey King. Right. They take Monkey King anyways. All right, go you guy in chat. Honestly. Y'all, this that one's Unbelievable. for you. Unbelievable. For the dude who did it, don't take credit if it wasn't you. I'm going to read up and yeah, figure out who it was. Yeah, if you're the guy who did it, uh, be sure to acknowledge yourself okay. with... Oh, he spammed it. His name is uh, Zane Osak 2. That guy has been spamming it. That's that's for what, you. It's like the first pick? Yeah, he was Monkey going insane. It's Monkey King! <laughs> Zane Osak 2. Go you. That one's for you. You get uh, okay. the, the TI cast shout out. All right. Here's the problem with Monkey King here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this down. All right? Mm -hmm. First of all, easy. You've got swap. All right? Yes, that's, a, that's a problem. Your, your Monkey King core is re entirely reliant on its ultimate. Second of all, Tiny can just jump in and just get a crap ton of damage on him. Mm -hmm. All right? And then you've got Necrophos, who, if there's any sort of damage laid on to the Monkey King, you just whoosh, cut him down. He doesn't mind. He's got Ghost Shroud. He can go into your ultimate, no problem. Yeah. And then Weaver, in and out hero, he don't care about your or your ultimate either. So you think this is a free VGJ Thunder game? I think this is a bad Monkey King game. I and actually VGJ think... VGJ Thunder will win. I think that Thunder will win, too. Also, Zane Osek... Also, Phoenix is good against it. Yeah. My dude went real nasty real fast. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> I, <laughs> I retract so that shout He's just a Thompson hater. Yeah, that's I, I retract my shout out. You get nothing. You know, I thought about saying something very similar, but I was like, maybe that's a little. We, we've been kind of going in on Thompson about his Lena, but it is true. OG do not pick a whole lot of heroes for Thompson. You don't have to pick a lot of heroes. I only see. I've only seen the like the four EG games I've seen. I've only seen. Yeah, but Sumail play Storm. Well, okay, so. but the problem is, is when. We, do we both? Can we both agree that Monkey King doesn't look like a great hero against these heroes? Mm, yes. Okay. So you don't have to play a whole lot of heroes as long as you can always play a hero that's good mm -hmm. for the game. But I think he's a sick Monkey King player. Okay. I'm excited because I just haven't seen enough Thompson games. Dude, maybe he'll go the Meteor Hammer. When we were at what was that tournament called? Um, that tournament, uh, Summit. Uh -huh. I gained a lot of info from the summit. So off stream, I asked Rezo, I said, so who's like actually a legit mid player that uh, you think anyways? And he said, really I think that Thompson is sick good. He says he's really? talented. He does really interesting stuff. He said his invoker is just like, ooh. Yeah. Like that is the kind of player that uh, he thinks has a lot of promise. So far, I, I mean, the games that I've casted, maybe I just jinx him. They've won all of them. Is a the surprising part. Yeah. He just has gone negative in all four of them. If my, I my dude is level eighteen, Monkey King. You know oh. how many games you have to play to I, get that high level. I'm sure Guy is a boss. I'm really excited to see this actually. 
As uh, I want to see his meteor hammer, Monkey King. You heard about that? Mm hmm. Weird. Wild, and I want to see it in action. Yeah. The last game uh, that we casted, we saw Jerex play. Oh my god, I can't stop raving about it. Maybe the best Winter Wyvern I've seen at this tournament so far. He was an absolute nightmare to play against. Yeah. I'm going to rewatch that replay. And you know me, I don't watch a lot of reps. Blitzstone is a, a man who likes it live. I just like to play. Yeah. I'm a me video too. gamer. The battle me begins. too, dude. Okay, here we go as Bounty Rune traded. Ooh, Snyler did sneak one away from OG there. So they're going to be able to get three on the side the of rare OGJ three. Thunder. Maybe I'll change my Exodia condition to seven out of eight. Seven out of eight. That's close enough. I, I, I feel like you're really stretching. I just want to see Ice Rock implement. That should be the mutation mode. <laughs> what if the bounty runes spawn randomly around the map? You have to go hunt for them. Like, it's a big, big, uh... Oh, so they, they put Tiny mid. Yeah. Okay. So they won't adjust that. But, I mean, Tiny's... It's not like Tiny's that bad. Dude, Gops is uh, sick at the positioning to never get cleave hit. What in the world? Maybe he is just a really legit monkey. Like, at, when you're playing on your favorite hero, you just play a little bit better at everything. You yeah. Know? That's true. Like, it's me and Storm. I just don't get dumpstered by everyone anymore. I think it's better uh, also Necrophos, the, the matchup against the Spectre. We kind of talked about how that lane. Yeah, I think they want to really stay favorable. true to that. And then the top lane, they have the Weaver into the Train Protector, which should be no problem whatsoever. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So, not going to miss first blood. It's not going to happen. Missed nope. Far too many today. Have you now? Yes. Thompson's actually taking tons of damage. Not for you. I mean, it's just a problem that Tiny could just do so much more damage than you. Mm -hmm. Oh, another deny. Seb is sure indeed going for his, uh, his Leech Seed build. Well, he's actually holding on to his skill point. So he's considering it. The Dang. Chen does come in, trying to get some damage onto Yang, slowing him down a little bit. Should be fine, though. It's hilarious seeing Chen just turn into a safe lane support now. Yeah. He just runs neutrals at you and penitences you. Yeah. I mean, penitence is crazy strong right now, too. It just goes to show you how much laning phase matters, that people yeah. are just willing to completely neuter Chen as a hero so that they can kind of just run at you. Look at him, he's just getting another one. Penitence oh no, you should have killed the double golems. No! You should have done it. Why did you kill the golems? Fade. <sighs> Activated his trap card. <laughs> Fade's like, ah, free golem. And Yang's like, no. <laughs> Don't do it, brother. Yang. Uh, he did not get Ghost Shroud, so he's going to take a lot of damage here. Fortunately, there's Fire Spirits from Fade. But he just came into lane, and he's already down to 200 health. He needs all of the last Your hits here. Falls. Indeed he does. He does have tangos, though. Look at the little golems coming forward. Throws another one. They're going to go for another dagger onto Yang. Is Yang going to die here? Anna's going to chase him down into the tier two. The send back as well and onto Anna. He's going to go he for the extra kill on Fade. Kill. He needs to walk away from the tower, though he survives on just a sliver the of torch tornado. The tornado. The tornado. Oh, God. It's like Twister. Get out of there, Fade. All right, he's good. He's good. Back He's over good. to the top lane, Seb. He is in trouble, and he does level up uh, Nature's Guys, but he doesn't have the time in the trees to be able to get away from the bugs. The Golden Beetles. Oh. Maybe. Jarex is dead, too. Nah, he's got no. wand charges. He's got wand charges. He's good. He's fine. How's mid going? 20 and 4 on the Tiny. Trying to toss the Monkey King back into the tower. Instead, gives Thompson. That ain't Mo Bambo Tiny. Mm. Relax. Gets the full-on Jingu mastery. What I noticed is he doesn't rely on any region. He's just going mass Wraith bands, which I'm sure every viewer that has watched, I mean, if you're watching this game, you've seen 100 Tops and Monkey King games or something. Yeah, you know that guy just, he's like, ah, but this is my first. My lifesteal is, or my, my regeneration is lifesteal. Yeah, I'm not up for EU hours, guys, so I don't watch. We casted SA Qualls, so I did not get to see a lot of oh, this guy's games. Oh, Jarex is going to die. Again, this Minus Armor is just so destructive between the Wave of Terror and how many times it's been buffed. Minus four armor reduction, plus it does okay damage, and then you get the bugs in there as well. Everyone's just 
has I mean, no armor. It doesn't help that Tree also has nothing. Yeah. Which is why he's obviously gone for the Ring of Protection. Winter Wyvern's armor is nothing to write home about either. But they're just going to continue to run at him. Maybe this is not the worst thing in the world for this top lane. Because this bottom lane is going pretty decent. Denied. Big Daddy No Tail denies one of his own creeps. Bait's going to try and chase him down. Burn. Doesn't get it. No Tail. Managed no -tail to dodge yet use. another blast. Does manage to hit him finally, but now No Tail's full HP. Freeze is going to come in from the side. He's actually going to try and come over to help out with the five minute bounty runes. And while he's doing that, he'll claim a kill. No Tail did deny at least one of the bounties. He slowly but surely fade. He does manage to get the bounty rune and runs away from Anna in time. Freeze gets the avalanche stun on him. He does have a toss back, but where's he going to toss him to? Fade, he needs to get out of here. Another dagger oh, is coming his way. Oh, the centaur almost died. Freeze body blocking up and a big time. Does manage to get the dagger out, which kills the phoenix. Gets him away. Oh, the tree. <laughs> was that a living armor? It was deal? a living armor. Wow. Seb's the best player in the world. <laughs> but he copped out and he actually leveled his nature's guys. I was told he wouldn't do that. Yeah, I mean, I think he wants it because he needs to go invis when the bugs are on him, right? I guess. I'm like, his saying, attack speed is so terrible. Be a man of principle. Hold to your values no matter what. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Siler, gonna get... Okay, they actually uh, do not focus on the same target, but it still works out. Does not matter in the least. Easy kill. Part of what makes Dota players great is their stubborn refusal to change despite all other factors involved. Uh-huh. That's what my really good pup players do anyways. Yes. As we've got the double Wraith Band into Ring of Aquila, so effectively the triple Wraith Band. I'm hyped for it. So he does 105 damage a hit right now. Actually rivaling the uh, the Tiny. He's without a, About to be a, a full tree. level ahead on Freeze. And Freeze has been a really good mid laner this tournament. Remember guys, this will determine if you win this game, it puts you even closer to the top four. Like, this game matters quite a bit. Oh, missed out on the range creep. See, yes, he is playing a little bit careful, and good thing, too, because No Tail was trying to hunt for the kill. Is instead going to go for DDC, but he no longer has any more ammo. His golem has already thrown his one little rock. Kill the golem. And the golem is now going to be tossed onto No Tail. Does have a living kill. armor, buying him a little bit of time. The magic missile comes out. Finally, a punch from Freeze closes No Tail's legacy. And that'll shut the book on that as Thompson just continues to get free farm mid, though. That is the trade here as he's already up to 47 CS. No neutral creeps or anything like that. This is extremely high uh, for the time being. Free's oh, bottom lane. They're going to go dive onto Ana. Now, he does have his ultimate if he wants to try and get out that way. But instead, he's going to try and just dagger on through the trees. Yang does not have his level 6. He's actually got to be a little bit careful here now that No-Tail has turned things around. Does manage to get, oh, nice deny again from No Tail. But soon Yang will have the level six, and Anna's gonna have to play a lot more careful in lane. And this time, Fade won't kill the golem. Radiant are scanning. As No Tail's kind of getting gone on, as he's gonna chuck the Radiant's first Hadouken. Tower is under attack. Laying it out right now as Anna wants to pop the shrine. No Tail, it's healthy enough that he's not really gonna need it. Is Topson gonna cop that heal? Freeze is going to pick up a DD in this top lane. Uh, and the laning phase still pretty even-ish. Spectre, ultimate, are they going to go for Siler? Where are they going with this one? They are going to come back over to the top lane, but Siler's just going to be able to fight Seb pretty easily. Bottom. He is trying to run to stay ahead of the Magic Missile. Finally, he is hit, but instead they're going to go for Jarex. But now that they use the Magic Missile, Jarex just TPs out. This TPs take forever. Oh, I think wow. he... Bottom lane, jump in from Thompson, going for Fade, and gets stunned at the last second. Does manage to get the Avalanche toss combination there with a the double damage. Thompson tiny. has got to be very scared of this one. The tree isn't quite enough. Yang gets one more final shot in, but it's still not enough. DDC cleans it up the wave of terror. Now Jarex is going to be cut down by the Reaper's scythe. His life shall be reaped away. No Tail is still hunting that Phoenix. The one boulder. Not enough. No Tail. You have no boots. Just keep running. Your own creeps are kind of Oh, blocky. no, the toss of DDC. Special delivery. They're going to be able to get in front of him now. Magic Missile slows him down long enough for the Avalanche to get there. Freeze is on a killing spree. And look at Freeze. He lets his stone brother run away. He is merciful to the young one.
I mean, you just can't do him like that. But look at... It betrays him. It's gonna de-ward. Oh, no. <laughs> Kindness and war. It always backfires. Oh, gee. Getting way too aggressive there. 2k gold lead already for VGJ Thunder. And the fact that, you know, Thompson was just free farming mid and then his first rotation comes around and he just runs into a double damage tiny, basically. Seb hits the leech seed onto the Weaver to make sure that Siler can't keep on going I'm still kind of confused by this whole, like, off lane court tree thing. Maybe I... Yeah, uh, it's not super good. Thompson takes the bounty rune away from Siler. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Bottom lane, Yang. A golden thread. It's going to be building the Veil of Discord. Gives himself a little bit more armor. And magic damage threat on Anna. Bottom lane, Anna. Going to get the living armor. They do have the rotation coming in from DDC. They're going to go for no tail. Magic missile stun first onto him. The dive comes out, but this is a top position going. Yang, actually, they toss him in. They do manage to get the freeze onto Fade. Trying to kill him with the help of freeze. Nice they do timing. manage to get him. The Phoenix Jerex. comes over, revealing Jarek's is positioning so here. They see him now. Yang is going to be scared out. He's a little bit slow with a dagger on him as well. Seb's going to come in. Nice overgrowth. But Yang got a big heal off of that Ghost Shroud. Gets another little bit off the Death Bulls. Jarek's is not quite dead yet. Gets another Freeze out, slowing down some of these heroes. Freeze himself is trying to get onto Seb with the Reaper Sight. They need more damage, though. He's still dusted up. And a big, long tree brings down the Mother Yang. Tree. Yang goes down. Anna trying to finish off TDC, but a big Avalanche combination. More Minus Armor and a Magic Missile to finish it off Thompson sees all these low health heroes but he's already used his son so he won't be able to get freeze himself oh, the jingle so mastery the TP takes forever but he had a regen rune he didn't realize fade oh and there TP goes mid. Chen all that action and Siler's just calmly cleaning up a Chen kill oh, behind a man. tier one I can't believe he almost got that kill he got him to 23 HP that's how close that was the creeps are helping out too I mean, that Scythe was a little bit disastrous. I feel like Yang, if he just waits, it matters so much that you get the last hit on that, not just for the kill and to look pretty with the stats, but... The regen, right? Exactly. He would have had enough regen then, and yeah. he would have lived. Still, Yang's game is pretty straightforward here. That's Anna, Anna. going to get jumped on here. Dive on him. They do have a high-level Phoenix now after that last team fight. I feel like he should definitely get levels of Sunray. It has so yes. much value for your Necro, for your Tiny. The percentage-based damage is also very effective against the Spectre. And it reveals Spectre energy. when he goes into the trees as well. I think yes. that's really helpful. I think there's just a lot of reasons. It's kind of like when I see Wyverns, they take like to level 10 to get their first level of Cold Embrace. Yeah. Like, that just feels a little bit greedy. But... No harm, no foul as Silar just continues to have a pretty free game. He's 5-0-1. I haven't talked about him at all because no one really wants to be anywhere near him. That is true. The action largely centered away from this level 10 Weaver. They're finally coming up here with the tree overgrowth combined with the Monkey King, thinking that maybe they can go for him. Yeah, they're just going to throw everything they have. Look at this. They lead off with the Winter's Curse to make sure they set up. He actually still got off the time lapse. Oh, they, they don't get the stones properly. And Siler gets away. Now they're all going to try and run to the back line to see if they can still find That's Siler. That's a DD Weaver. They have so much minus armor with the double damage. Siler's already executed Jerex. Now they do have the Supernova going out. The Reaper Scythe holds in Thompson a little bit longer. It's not quite the kill, but Yang has the Death Pulse. It'll follow Thompson to his doom. The send back from the Chen. Thompson. Not going to be there fast enough. Double kill. Now set TP's out. They don't have a magic oh. missile. He was two he mana short. He had swap, though. Oh, he had no. swap. Well, he wanted. He had enough mana for swap, and that's going to be DDC. You're my boy, but I have to criticize you for that. That was a two for three exchange to the favor of VGJ Thunder. Oh, he never messes up stuff like this. And mid tower almost died during that, but Freeze had to back Radiant's off, so it's going to be a living attack. armor. I was going to say deny, but... They've got living armor. Yeah, that DD Weaver lived for so long. I, they just messed up the chaining of the spells. Can they protect this top tower as well? Middle tower and is under you realize, like, the reason why you only get really sloppy games like this at TI because of the stakes. Yeah. Everybody plays a little bit worse, but it also makes for very entertaining games. Because people are just going to take fights. <laughs> Dude, Siler is hunting No Tail, like, constantly. Yeah. He just always goes Dyer's to his lane and just. Kills him and then farms the lane. 
Oh, I thought that OG had that. Yeah. They missed the overgrowth. They didn't quite chain things. And they took so long because of the Winner's Curse. The downside of opening up with Winner's Curse is it gives the enemy team forever to yeah. set up. Which is what we saw happen there. They weren't able to protect the egg, but it still didn't matter as Freeze picks up a kill on a Jerex. Has that early blink dagger. Freeze didn't have the best laning phase, but he is a dominant rotator. They're trying to, to cut in and find some heroes that allows them to finally push this tower, but they just can't quite do it. Anna in some trouble, does have the bugs on him, the time lapse, and trying to get himself away. Shukuchi locked in for a little bit, but Weaver gets away. He forced TP rotation, so maybe his team can take a tower. The living armor is just so pesky, though. Now you're going to see mid probably healed up. Freeze, you got to do it fast, man. He's going to try and kill Jarex first to stop Jarex, but he's Winter's Curse. Now he's underneath the tower. Oh, he's going to be able to clean up the Winter Wyvern. The Bird Brothers. But look at this living armor. It's keeping the tower alive still. The rotations are coming out from OG. The toss up in the air. It's still not enough. Seb's here now to be able to get the overgrowth. And they've overextended themselves. Perhaps the Supernova goes down. They need to be able to focus this. No Tail's going for it. Anna tries to get it. Now the swap goes down, but they still get the egg. Freeze trying to get away. DDC gave up his life to save Freeze's. And they want to save this tower. You see the pings coming out. It's got 45 HP. It's still up. Thunder. Topson, you're going to get gone on here. The blink stun toss is Toss here. combination, and he still has a bug on him. That means the minus armor is still there. Freeze, the he's armor. turning and fighting. He's getting the, the Jacob Master. Armor. He's killing the tiny. The living armor helps keep Topson alive, and now he controls this mid lane, which gives them. Silar's going to go in for it. go for the tower. Style. Oh, oh the cliff. The heal. The living armor's there. Silar, you can't go back. Don't go back. It's they suicide! Are committing so oh no, for this. the penitence! He's Shukuchi's away. Okay, he's okay. They actually lost like 2,000 gold trying to take that tower. Dude, and now I'm starting to see where the tree comes in. They're losing their mind trying to kill towers. It's a Vici gaming team plus mid tier one towers. Oh man, that tower is getting baited. All right, now they're all here again. They do not want to let this tower heal to full. But Topson here. Oh, Topson's Topson. going to be able to get a big leap. That's a lot of damage. Jumps away. Magic Missile hits him in the tree, but they have no way to be able to cut it down. They tried to go for the flight, but it's not enough. Winter's Curse locking in. Siler, can they get the swap away? He managed to get out with the time lapse. He's still low. DDC ends up going down. So many heroes are dying just for them to try to take this tower. It's almost half HP or more already. And Anna survived. The cold embrace keeps him up. I don't know how OG is just baiting VGJ Thunder into fight after fight. Thunder, friends, give it up. You're just not doing it. Dyer's You've got vision. You see the now they're going to lose tower. the tower than it's... themselves. <laughs> Sap with, with the, the tree all chat. I mean, I would. Dyer's middle tower. It's hilarious. Dyer's they're just, they continuously run in one by one. That hey, tower hey. is... At least they got the offlane tower. Some real Minas Tirith stuff. <laughs> I didn't see the end of the movie. That It held, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As it continues to hold. <laughs> he was with Siler like that one Urukai who just runs in. Wait, what? Don't spoiler, man. I'll get to the end of that movie. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you just watch it five minutes at a time. Exactly. <laughs> Turn it off when it gets too spooky. Then I have to reset because I forgot about what happened. Radiant Maelstrom for Weaver is almost here. Radiant's that will significantly increase his damage. Meteor Hammer build for Seb. Get some bugs on him. Siler does have detection, so he can actually go for this kill, but Seb is going to be forced into Overgrowth. Does manage to get vision on him first. Overgrowth TPs out. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Give it just keep seven. hitting him with that chat, Will, but Anna's going to be caught. He's alone here in the top lane. Reaper Scythe death as well, so he's dead for 75 seconds. That is a critical loss for OG. Thompson drops the sorry. You know what, VG? You had like a 6k lead? Just go back mid again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Do it up again for the boys. Is DDC going to throw down a, a ward to a tinker ward to find Thompson? No. Just a regular lane ward. I, I thought he was going to do one of these tinker wards, you know? Seb. Invis here. But just the two supports from Vici. Not going to do too much as... I, mean, I feel like Vici are going insane about this mid tower, but... You can't, you can't do that again. That's the definition of insanity yeah. for you to try that play for the fifth time. Lose four heroes.
And it's so bad to fight around these these towers too, because there's trees and they've got both tree and protector and monkey king. And even Spectre play and and actually Winter Wyvern. All four of those heroes play really well around trees. So VGJ Thunder are gonna go for the safe lane tower instead. But OG. Hot on pursuit. Thompson flying through the air now that he's got the level 15 talent. Some real Tarzan shit going on right now. Seb trying to get in deep. Has the overgrowth ready in four seconds, Two, but Freeze one. gets out just yeah. in time. Timing was just a little bit off on that. Is Anna not going to go for the Radiance? Is in fact just going to really build out of it? Yeah, it's going to man to defusal this game. As Vici, I feel like are pretty lost because normally they'd be hitting towers. Yeah. But I feel like they've sort of become a little bit gun shy here. Yeah, they just keep on. They just ran bottom, then back to mid, and then OG just kind of follow them. No, you're not taking this tower. They must be so upset right now because they have no idea what, what's supposed to be happening. Yeah. They're playing against the Spectre, but they can't take towers. Spirit Vessel for Fade. It looks like they've kind of determined just to build their next That's round of items. Which may not be a bad item. I mean, just bad as a point of pride, I feel like you're just all in for mid tower. <laughs> you gotta show there, OG that you're really not... much pride in losing. Because I feel like that's what's gonna happen if they just Screw all in for a top another four tower. Slot. I'm over it. Don't be about that life. That mid tower means the most. Monkey King tossed in. Reaper Scythe, they do have it. Yank doesn't want to throw it now to get the Winter's Curse in. Freeze is actually going to keep his Blink Dagger canceled here by Jarex. And now Yang needs to be able to get out with the Ghost Strat. Turns around with the Reaper Scythe, but no, the Cold Abrace plus the extra bit of healing. Thompson will survive through the Reaper Scythe. Yeah, and now Yang is stuck. Avalanche stuck combination. They need to finish him off, and finally they do. Seb hiding away in the trees does finally get the invisibility right as Freeze came in for that final hit. Big Daddy, he's going to be chased down by Siler. Siler's been feeding on him all game, and it's just not really no tails. What can he do against a Weaver? Gonna go down again as now the bottom tower, the tree is still alive. Freeze tower. is desperately tower. hunting for him. You saw how aggressively he blinked it. Top tower, top tower gonna get taken as Anna avoiding the fights. Tower. The double hurricanes Radiant are gonna push in the wave. VGJ hates Seb. He's all chanting them. He's been keeping his towers alive for so long. Bottom tower. And he's right next to them. A breath away, but no detection left on VGJ Thunder. Oh, he's pinging Freeze. He really wants to go for this kill. He wants to do that perma stun life. But Fade is in the area still. Fade, who's level 12 now, with the Spirit Vessel, is not under farm by any stretch. He doesn't have the overgrowth yet. No, DDC just laid out a sentry. Seb's got to be careful. Sentry ward combination. I think Seb really wants to go on this so badly, but... Oh, he might actually just run in here. Dive in. Actually caught him. Thompson falls from the trees, and he's stuck oh, for a while. The magic missile gone. combination with the toss. He managed to get off a stun, but that's it. He's dead. And OG without their Monkey King from Thompson. Maybe they can take this fight. Swap back. Hoping to be able to save Freeze. He has a Blink Dagger up. He's good. OG have to retreat now. Man, that was a sick dive. They know the ward's there, too. They're going to deward this for free. Just a really good sequence of events. It's a 7k lead now for BGJ Thunder. It's the mid tower for the eighth time in this game. Silar's like, damn it, I'll do it this time. But you gotta bring more shows himself. And nope, that's no longer the case. Penitence on Yang. He's got a ghost shroud. I feel like you need to bring everyone here and be ready to fight if you want to take this. I mean, they've got the egg. Opportunities are there, but instead they're gonna pack again. They're still not learning. You've got to have everyone. Siler's got 2,800 gold. What does he go for next? Does he need a BKB this game? He doesn't, right? I don't think so. so. I think he just needs a... Uh, does he want Lincolns? I'm not I even am. sure if he needs a Lincolns this game. Lincolns is okay. It's not excellent. How does he deal with tree, though? Manta, maybe? Do you get Manta on Weaver just to deal with that? We've seen, um, there was some hero that got Manta. Oh, it was Tinker, right? Tinker yeah. got, had to go Manta because he was facing up against a tree. I mean, it's not terrible this game either. Yeah. Hmm. 
I just don't like it when you go all in defensive on Weaver when there's 50 ways to deal with it. Yeah. Because you need damage on this hero. Seb, he's going to be spotted here. They do have the dust for him. So even if he does go in Vizier, living armor. But go mid tower now. Now that the tree is dead, now that there's no living armor, maybe Thought they can go mana? for an objective the top lane, and it does manage to TP out. VGJ Thunder would have been very happy with that pickoff. Oh, that would have been massive. They, they don't get scan. it. They yeah. throw out everything to try to maybe catch him, but instead... They're going to try and fight. Yeah. OG is. They, they've smoked Radiant's over. Thompson is waiting. They have the King. Monkey King in position. Are they going to notice the extra tree? He's going to get out the ultimate. Managed to get the two-man stun. The rest of his team needs to be able to follow this up instantly. OG comes in with Anna, trying to finish off Yang. He got off the Ghost Shroud, swapped away by DDC. He gives up his life, and the Necro does manage to blink himself out of there. But can he TP away in time? OG, they're going to find him soon, and Yang just can't get out fast no. enough. DDC's swap is for naught. I feel like if he TP'd Insta, went down, yeah. would have maybe had a chance of survival. Would have probably been worth it to at least try. Seb gonna make his way down bottom again. Overgrowth catches the Phoenix, and he's gonna go for the bonk real quick, but his attack speed is so slow. So Seb waits for the fire to wait uh, to, to tick out there and does manage to get it now. Forced out the supernova. And okay, no tail thought they were gonna go for it. Seb's like, no, we can't actually do that. Fate's gonna come back in strong, challenge the supports. He's gonna get bonked in the head again. He may not be able to dive away fast enough. No tail finally does go down. Winter's curse holds him in. Seb's gonna try and get another nature's guys in tangle, but Thompson's here to finish off the Phoenix. So they trade off support for support with a supernova blown. I'm pretty sure you're okay with that if you're OG. So that was a three on one. The Phoenix getting away with anything there. And he bought out his yules before he died. But if they just give an OG an opportunity to do Roshan, they won't be very happy with themselves. And I'm gonna go back for the Radiance now. VGJ Thunder spotted out with DDC, but it's a hard fight to take, especially with Thompson in the area. Seb here as well, no overgrowth up, and now Freeze jumps in at the wrong time. They tried to get the swap in, now they're gonna get Meteor Hammer together. The oh Meteor no! Hammer. Seb, he stuns one, he stuns the tiny, and DDC, he didn't need to hit him. He was clean up for OG. I mean, Siler's just looking at the rest of his team, and he's like, guys, what is... What is going on? This game has been chaos, but y'all just need to chill. Dyer did get the Roshan hit, by the way. I'm pretty sure I see the Snatch. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, wow. I'm surprised by that. I didn't think he blinked in in time. Dude, the Meteor Hammer. I can kind of see why they like it. What you do is, yes, you have this core tree, but you just pick really greedy cores. Aside from that, keep your towers alive. Them not being able to take this mid-tower is also what enables that Roshan. Everything sort Seb of just makes sense. is in range of vision. He sees that now as the creep try and go on him, but he's got enough backup. He just wants to be able to find somebody. The dive has already gone down. Anna thinks he can take on Fade. Throws the dagger out. It misses Fade, and he'll miss the kill as well. That was real suspect. Yeah, especially with the Yule Scepter, that Phoenix was not in danger. Yeah. Also, if he just fire spirits and then pops his ulti, the rest of your team can't really pursue there anyways. Yeah. There's no real winning there for him. He went to tree respawn time instead of the 90 damage. Huh. Weird. No tail on the front lines. You know, you're here. Oh, boy. What a winter's curse. Yang just got beaten down by Freeze, and now he's stuck inside the Monkey King ultimate. He throws out the tree to be able to finish off. No tail. A swap goes in. Freeze. A dagger comes out. It's not quite enough. DDC trying to run away from Thompson. Siler's laying in some damage into the Monkey King as well. They dive yeah. over, trying to slow down these heroes. There goes the Supernova, but the toss up in the air. And it's going to have trouble being able to take that on, and that's going to be the Aegis. Supernova, VGJ Thunder are very well Look set up heel. to kill the Spectre twice. Avalanche lead things off. Magic Missile. OG give up on Anna. He's dead. Reaper Sight. Anna actually gets the last hit on the DDC. I think as a result of all the damage bounced. Yeah. He just dispersed it back out. But oh. super worth. Yeah, they almost got another kill too on a Jerex. Good turn onto that fight. 5k lead now for Thunder. Oh, DDC. Done a pretty good job of cutting it down. He hasn't always saved his heroes, but I think his swaps are always been on point. Yes. Maybe they live, maybe they still die, but that one especially was super important. BKB 
for Thompson. Now he's so much more powerful when he leaps in. Man, you can pretty much guarantee you get a Jingu Mastery on somebody. They needed Haunt so bad there. With the Spectre down for 40 seconds. Are they really going to try and defend this? They see the tree TP. Zeb's going to be caught, tossed up in the air, almost bursted immediately, trying to get out, but... Again, that Sunray from Faye just does so much. Thompson Dang. leaps away into the trees. DDC spots him for a moment. Couldn't get close enough for the swap. One second. Winter's Curse. That's Yang gone again. The swap back. No. DDC just can't save him fast enough. Uh, Yang has to be way more careful than that. Yeah. That's twice now where Jerix is just eating him. Radiance he just cannot be anywhere near Freeze and vice versa. Is a BKB now completed on this Monkey King? Thought about popping the ult there as Thompson is going to jump down, lay his staff into two heroes. That's going to be uh, three bounty runes for Team D2J. Is. Now that it leads to 6k, they finally took that mid tower. That's going to make things a lot easier for them as Anna. Going to get chased out by these illusions, pops his own Manta, trying so hard just to get to that Radiance. How close is he? 2200. A bit of a distance still. At least he already has the Radiance. Oh, top lane, doing a battle here with Freeze, but he does receive some Sunray healing. Percentage-based heal is too much for Thompson to take on. The 100 tip by Seb to his own teammate. That was a BKB charge use cap. Now yeah. he's down to nine. Very valuable BKB charge. But at least he forced some heroes up there that gives just more time for Anna, right? Yeah. That's all they need, more time. Seb, meanwhile, is just cutting out creep waves as Meteor Hammer Treants are wont to do. They're just going to sit in one side lane, constantly push them out. Seriously, though, the respawn? Tree respawn? I mean, I guess he's got Monkey King, so they got two heroes that need trees. And they did say that four heroes of theirs, Jerix is dead. No, Jerix is not. Jerix has quick, 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 quick fingers. He's actually so fast on that uptick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was literally just standing there, knowing that there was probably a smoke coming his way, and he just had the blink ready to go. Yeah, and once again, the creeps just getting killed. Siler's got a butterfly now. Freeze on the hunt. He's got his blink. He's going to jump in. That's going to be a no-tail for free, and they're going to muff up all the creeps. No-tail is really good at finding enemy heroes. Yes. Oh, Not very good at surviving, too. Except just back during tier ones now. Oh. Top lane. He got canceled. Oh, they're going to be able to grab Anna. Managed to get away off of his ultimate. Siler's still going to be able to find him. He's jumping around the map. Does manage to get to the other side of the cliff there. But still, that is a uh, haunt used. BGJ Thunder got to be happy. A very that. good job at forcing that. But now he's got his Radiance. Just 50 gold away. If you're patient, Anna, you're going to have it. How's Yang doing? He needs a BKB. And he's a little bit far away from one. A hasted haste room. That's what Thompson is. Now he's a flying courier. Flying his way down to the bottom lane. Where Seb is currently trying to push it out. Radiant are scared. Long dive in from Fate, knowing that Jerex is somewhere around him. Spots him out with the sun right now, but his allies are super far away. Jerex just keeps on running south. Just got to keep his distance. More time for the Blink Dagger to come up. Here comes Freeze. Avalanche oh, isn't there in time. Timing. It was super close. Now they're just going to buy more time as Seb continues to cut the waves. Almost has that Aghanim Scepter. Just two components away. Yang will collect all this farm being pushed into him. Seb now going to head up to the top lane. They were going to go for the push onto the tier two. Siler is going to run into Jarex here. Jarex going to plan this high ground area. Does not have a TP. Blink up in three seconds time with DDC. Oh, he got popped down. And now DDC spots him, but he already had the blink up. We'll turn around Winter's Curse. It's not going to last very long on Freeze, though. He will continue his pursuit. Reaper's Scythe, and they do get the kill. He's dead for 100, 100 seconds. seconds. But that was space for them to take the Tier 2. That's why they tip Jarex. Space created. More farm for the Spectre. Yes, and if they can just avoid fights outmaneuver, OG's just going to give themselves more chance in this game. They'll never see me coming. Uh, 
Sam. That's a lot of excitement for a meteor hammer hit. Bean. It hit. 500 health for the Spectre. Big upgrades on this this Spectre over the last like three minutes. Yeah. Radiance, 500 health. That's pretty it just game changing. It nicely. I think that's the reason why this hero is so good. Because yeah. every time you hit this next power spike, you have another one following up. So first you get this Manta. Uh, you get this Radiance. Normally you get this Radiance and then you become really strong. Then you get the Manta. Then you get the 500 HP talent. So you've got your own mini heart. They're going to see if they can actually kill Anna here or at least take away his bounty rune. My thrift but the power reward. spikes just keep coming. If he had a really OP level 25 talent, it'd be even more incredible. Yeah. All he's got is dispersion, haunt and illusion damage. Both are pretty good. I feel like both of them are kind of even. Yeah. Spectre is online now, though. For sure. Seb. And I really think they need to do a better job of hunting down this Dream Protector because he's keeping these side lanes pushed in, which is just buying more and more space for Spectre. But maybe it's too late for that. They do have three cores that all scale pretty well, so even if there's a big bad Spectre on the enemy team, so we go later, VGJ Thunder may still be able to challenge. I don't know. Where do your bets lie? Like, past 50 minutes, who do you think? I'm not sure, because I feel like this Necro is really good against pretty much all these heroes. Yeah. I'm not sure how this Monkey King scales in a game like this, but he's really farmed now. He's got a Scotty. He's going to hit his level 25, which I think is going to be really good in this game. He just he gave these double command rings. It's really hard for Thunder to fight. But when it comes to the supports, I mean, they, there's both, they both have really game-changing supports. Yeah. Like, this Wyvern can pretty much just kill anybody instantly. But at the same time, it's a Phoenix. We talk ad nauseum about how good Phoenix is as a level 25. And he's about to get his uh, level 20 talent. Which could be the stun duration, which is better for team fights. I see the dive occasionally. It feels a little bit like a meme. It's just unnecessarily long and hard to control. Yeah. Freeze. They have a courier out here. They're going to spot the real tree. The tree stacked on tree. You saw that. Or maybe you didn't. They had this ward specifically to find this Monkey King. They didn't notice. I mean, it's not the most obvious thing. Yeah. To be fair. The tree stacked on tree. And now the Aghanim Scepter is up. This is just going to make the game even harder. Both the split push aspect of the Eyes in the Forest coupled with Overgrowth, as well as the uh, just the general vision. Makes things tough. Right now, Thompson gonna deal with the wave once again, and even though Thunder have a 6k lead, it doesn't feel as though this game is very far from either team's grasp. No, certainly not. What's the win probability? Dota plus fam? It is. Look used to be in the favor of EGJ Thunder, now it's like about 55% to OG. That's what we're talking about. Game is still very close for either side. One team fight will determine it. First things first, Seb gets that Aghanim Scepter, immediately starts putting vision around the Roshan Pit. That is one of the OP, OP things. It is clear vision. It does see inside the Roshan Pit, so give me some of those eyes in the forest right around that, that area. And VGJ Thunder will have a tough time being able to take Roshan. Man, when you said that, I just wanted to say uh, first things first. Rest in peace. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. Anna already has another 4k net worth. Now, he probably wants to hold on to buyback. But if he gets a heart... Oh, they spotted Thompson! DDC! He saw him for a moment, but couldn't get a disable in time. He just floats away so far that DDC can't really get to him. They just keep on barely missing out on these here. Oh, they see so many of them, though. They've got the Tinker Ward. Everyone from VGJ Thunder is on their way. They need to be able to land the bugs from Siler. They're waiting, but both TPs. Yeah. Ooh, they're just getting run around the map right now. <laughs> nice try, guys. Bottoms pushing in. Mid is taking into the tier two. So much space for OG and more time for the eyes in the forest. 
Did they have a gem? I thought they had a gem at some point. Oh, yeah. There it is. Freeze. I guess he's the one who will easily just kill eyes in the forest. The tree throw. I, I almost think that Fade's going to go for the dive range just to have a better chance of finding the Monkey King in these side areas like this. I bet he's thinking to himself, would I have found them if I had the dive range? If I could have just swooped through all that area? Would you have taken? I think it's, I, I don't think he should. I think it's a trap. But I, I, I bet it's going through his head. Oh, don't do it. I just go for the Roshan and it is falling way faster than I expected, but the bugs are coming in. The bugs have spotted everything out. And they do They're have a Phoenix trying to get some fear, Fire Spirits in. Look at this, Thompson just preemptively lays out the ultimate to make sure it's not possible. They get in, Shukochi, they already have the Aegis on, and uh, Siler's trying to fight him, time lapses, and walks himself away. The Supernova will explode eventually here, but OG just retreat outside of the pit, sending back Anna. They're going to try and kill him, but he's already being healed up, and he won't die fast enough. Anna he's gone. gets sent back to base. Maybe if they waited half a second on Yang's ulti, they popped that, but now... Without the egg. And now they're going to go back in. The Spectre is ready to rumble. So they're going to try and take on DDC. He's already dead, gang. No, nice use of the Winter's Curse. But he already got the Winter's, uh, he got the Growth Shot out. So he's not actually taking that much damage until finally it fades. Yang, a little bit more from Anna, trying to chase him down. Will be able to finish him off. But on the side, Thompson gets clobbered to death by Freeze. He has to go for Spectre now, who has an extra life. And it's just not a fight he can win. Magic Missile eats the cheese on a side. He actually stole that one inside the Roshan pit. Finishes off the Aegis and slips away with the Shikuchi to be able to find No Tail, who, as, as always, is a free kill for VGJ Thunder. And Anna lived for so long there. Some of these winners' curses are just completely breaking open the fights. Oh, he did it. I told you, dude. He took the dive? He took the dive. Icarus. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The Weaver now completes an MKB. He needs it to deal with the Spectre. So there's a heart on Anna. He's most likely going to go and switch his build once he sees that MKB. Probably just gets a BKB of his own. Yeah. I like that. I think Hotel really needs a Glimmer Cape. Yeah, that's what he's trying to build right now. He just needs to be able to not die to Siler all the time. It's because Siler can't really carry counter detection at this point. Yeah, it's completely six slotted out. I guess he could drop his treads, but you wouldn't feel too good about that. Yeah. You need the attack speed if you're Weaver. Oh, they've got the... Uh, we didn't have this in the last fight, right? Yeah. The, they've got the Wukong's command ring. That is very difficult to play around. If you ever let OG actually get into your base area and they throw that down, it just feels impossible. You just have to give up a tier three and maybe even a Rax as a result. Regeneration. But... We already saw the Shikuchi movement speed a while ago. Is there any other level 25s that are coming in soon? It looks like most of these heroes are still a decent distance away. Level 25 on Anna is coming up. And we got the Cold Embrace cooldown on the Winter Wyvern, as that has been obviously very, very strong. The uh, level 20, the Perma Root, Nature's Guys Root is available, as well as the Leech Seed, which. You're getting sort of close to the level 25 on Tiny. Yeah, 23. Yeah. The toss charges. Super. What does Seb get? Two seconds nature's guys route? I've never seen anyone go the leech seed. <laughs> I can't imagine it's that effective this late on. No. I mean, you could have a, a 4.2 second. Oh, jump on a Yang. They're going to try and pop him real quickly. He does have Yule Scepter as well as the BKB. A swap back on a Thompson. Stops his ultimate. But look at that ring. They're stuck inside him. They try and go for the Reaper Sight, but Thompson just shrugs it off. Yeah. Oh, he's going insane right now. Anna jumps in. He does manage to find Siler. Siler time lapses. He's inside of the Monkey King ultimate. They don't have the detection. Seb tries to catch up with him, but just can't get there. And now OG marching down mid. A tier two gone.
into the high ground they go. They're going to try and force VGJ Thunder into a buyback. Chen, no tail buys back, and I think in part because the send back is just so valued. I think they also see the opportunity right now to end this game, but there is a buyback on the Necro. Doesn't have the ult or BKB. Seth makes his way into the base. Does manage to get an eye out. A long range dive through all of these heroes. Freeze trying to make a little jump in, but Cold Embrace heals up. Thompson, and no, no, Yang got a little bit too close oh, again to Freeze. Again. He's made that mistake one too many times. Anna tries to come in. Immediately the Supernova goes out. So Anna tries to retreat, but he doesn't have the dagger. He can't get to low ground. Tom laps. Oh, Cold Embrace is going to be able to save Anna a little bit of time. They're not letting him heal up, though. They get the pure damage off the Sunray onto him. Anna's almost dead. Anna gets burned out by the Supernova. And now Siler caught Siler. in the overgrowth. They do manage to kill him. He does have a buyback, though. Babe comes back into the fight after his dive through. Jarex is going to be saved by his own Cold Embrace, but Siler is hot in. They're going to try and get the send back. Siler a couple of shots, but it's not enough. He saves himself with the Cold Embrace, sent back to base by the Chen. Siler keeps on pushing forward. Heyman freeze together, but all this vision, all this mobility of OG allows them to be able to escape quite easily. Gonna pick up bounty runes on the way out. So OG will now extend their lead. They've got a lead of Oh, they run own. into Thompson. Thompson! He couldn't jump to the trees! Thompson! He did get BKB. So greedy for the bounty runes, doesn't get off the BKB and dies as a result. At least he Might buys out his courier. satanic, but he bought out the satanic also means he doesn't have buyback. There's a gem on that courier. Silent wants it so bad, but he's gonna get uh. ring around the Rosie. They still have a gem on DDC, so they still have a way to deal with the uh, eyes in the forest. I don't, and, oh, man, Yang was 300 gold away from his shields. And now he's got 400 gold. That man really needs to stay away from Tiny. Or Avalinkas, or something. Illusion. Illusions, that'll certainly help out, because they, they just got to push in these waves. The train Protector, so good at being able to stall out this game. They're going to go for a tier two in mid. They use so many buybacks, though. You see the eyes. Good use of the overgrowth just to stall things out. Most of the creep's going to die. But they're going to continue their assault onto this tower. It dies so fast. This freeze is trying to lay waste to this. Anna TPing in. Wants to be the high ground. Nice punch there on the Siler. They're going to get the dagger on him. Swap back on a Seb. They want to be able to kill him quickly. But again, the Winter's Curse laid onto Siler. Is he going to die from this one? Freeze runs out of trees to be able to throw on Siler. Gets away. Time lapse. He doesn't have it. He's going to have to run away from Anna. Looks like he could be good as long as he doesn't get daggered here. Shikuchi does allow him to be able to drift away. Fade runs into no-tail here, sees a free kill on at least an opportunity for one, but has to be careful because the rest of the team is definitely on its way. Freeze is just cutting creep waves, doesn't find no-tail, but finally, Fade is spotted. Yule Scepter to be able to buy him a bit of time to get away from Anna. BGJ Thunder is honestly very lucky that they got away with so many heroes. Yang, he has an invis rune right now, and they do have a gem on Sem, so Yang has to blink himself away. Yang just trying to survive right now. Things are going to reset a little bit as OG gathered up. No Dying mana on no tail. This might just win him back. So I'm going to pop the ult again to just clear up all the waves at bottom. They could just wait for the next Roshan. It can spawn in 47 seconds. You might as well be patient if you're OG. I mean, there's just seems like no way BGJ Thunder could fight into the Wukong's command. Oh, oh Thompson, you got to be careful. Jump into those trees and a mid dive. Can't afford to get stunned if they cut the right tree. Satanic is now up for Siler. He has that extra life. He's shukuching on through. He does manage to find Jarex. Winter's curse. Oh no! Freeze actually caught in that as well. They managed to get the double sable with a They're meteor the hammer ring. on top of them. They managed to swap out. They got needs to be saved. The shrine is going to go down. The toss as well to get DDC out of that ring. But Freeze is going to be left behind. Saves the support. But down he goes. Siler. He's going to have to take this instead. The Reaper Sight isn't quite enough. They managed to get the Cold Embrace onto Thompson. The BKB out from Fade is just trying to slow down the attack speed of everyone as they dive themselves away. Anna, he's trying to jump out, trying to get away from Siler, but he just can't get the damn bugs off of him. Thompson, he'll try it instead. Leaps onto the three of them, managed to get a big swing out. Nice Goes after duels. Yang, dodges a lot. He's trying to keep himself alive with the death pulse. And Thompson, he's doing so much damage with Siler with the time lapse. Stays alive. They may have killed the Necrophos, but it's not good enough. Seb, he's in this, and they don't have the detection, but Anna comes back over the buyback. They do manage to get the ensnare onto Fade. He doesn't have a dive away, but Anna doesn't nice care about him. Seb. He wants Siler. Seb managed to ensnare him out. Meteor Hammer down, and that's going to be a Phoenix, who comes back down to the earth and instantly dies. A buyback on both the supports, but Anna knows there's no buyback on the cores. And that might just do it here as Thompson doesn't have buyback, but the rest of his team should be able to clean this up. 
They know there's no buyback on the Weaver, the Tiny, or the Necro, or they would have used it. If anybody's been keeping track of time, they'll be just fine. And now they're going to go for the Megas. This is the safe play. Don't think they have the DPS to comfortably go for the throne. It's the Tiny. The Tiny doesn't have it on gold. But OG might be a little bit nervous, and he may have it <laughs> inside as he tries to dive in. Fade, swapped out, BKB activated, but now DDC is going to die instead. Gets the magic missile onto Jerex, allows the Phoenix to survive. They bought a little time, though. The Tiny's coming up in 10 seconds. The Necrophos is coming in as well. He's asking, are you lost? They very well Dyer's might be. Two back. seconds for the Tiny to come back alive. Anna's got to be careful. He doesn't have buyback. And with the Glyph, I think you just back out, reset things. Dyer's In five seconds, the Necro's going to be up two. Again, Roshan, you might as well just take it. Seb will take the Tier 3 out with the Meteor Dyer's Hammer. They must hate Seb so much in yeah. this game. 3, 4, and 18. He's kept the towers alive for so long. I feel like in a normal game, mm -hmm. and it's hard to say, Thunder had such a dominant lead, but those two engagements in the mid game where they were trying to take that mid tier one tower, any other hero, they would have gotten those, the game would have been fine. Dude, look at this. He's got the level 25, so the AoE is gigantic. So he's got trees on either side of the river, it overlaps into the Roshan pit. Well, he's got the Octarine core now completed too. <laughs> I love that one. Really freaking out, man. An Orchid on Jarex, okay. I can Jarex is it. like, I just want all the items, why not? Just get a Bloodthorn. Thompson picks up the Arcane Rune so he can just jump around from tree to tree a little bit He's faster. He's gonna have the double ring too, and the double BKB, the double Satanic, and the double Manta. Oh my. I mean, between the eyes and, and the Wukong's command, like, there's just so much zone control. Right? Like, OG just own parts of the map when they want to. Yes. And there's certainly going to be no surprises to the team fight that's about to happen, at least when it comes to OG. Look how much vision they have inside of the base right now. They're going to jump on a Yang, try and lead off with the stuns. Thompson throws out Wukong's command. DDC is going to be able to swap Yang out, but DDC dies as a result. He does on that buyback. They're going to lose the first Rex here as at bottom. Anna running in. He's got the Aegis. They Here see comes Anna. The they see the opportunity to try and go for him. And meanwhile, the Phoenix holds him down. Well, what a beautiful overgrowth. Locking down a lot of these. Zero Siler instantly pops the BKB. They're going to go for Yang first. They don't want to get that Reaper Scythe out. The Refresher Orb, Wukong's command. Yang is still inside of it while Seb slows down Freeze as well. The Supernova does manage to successfully go off, but Yang is finally gobbled up by Anna. Sees in the side that they're controlling a Freeze. Anna's going to try and beat him down. He has the extra life, but Seb does not. So Seb ends up going down. Freeze. He needs to be able to get back to the fountain. The Invis rune a little bit more. The Radius Burn Freeze survives. Gold Embrace will save Anna from the Fountain Shots. Freeze is going to toss him in deeper, though. Anna needs to try and run himself away from the Weaver, who with the Winter's Curse zoning him out, he couldn't actually pursue. But now Anna may finally die. But the Sun comes out from Thompson. A toss up in the air. There goes the, the first life of the Spectre. But the GG is called VGJ Thunder. No, a second life of Anna is just too much to take on. 40 to 40 is the score. OG end it with a kill above. I mean, they're still keeping things going. They are reeling off win after win. They were tied with VGJ Thunder before this, but now they're going to take that game. And if we just look at the standings real quick. Have a slight lead on the one game lead over them, but VGJ Thunder still have an opportunity to even up with them. Yeah, they were one in three the first day. Everyone was declaring their demise. Yeah. Then they went to three and five, and everyone was like, ah, they're still kind of bad. And now they have worked their way up to seven and six. They will be even with Fnatic. They'll have the same amount of wins as LGD. Mm. This team is battling back to try to get to that top four. It has not been secured quite yet. The two top places have been taken by EG and Liquid, but there's still two spots up for grabs, and they are working their way into this cap. VGJ Thunder, they also want that top four position. In order to do so, they need, they to, need tie to tie OG really badly. And and it felt like they could have won this game, right? Yes. It felt like they absolutely, like they had that early lead. It looked like they were just controlling the game super early. You could see that graph was very much in their favor early on. And then they just ran into the tree. They ran into the wall that is the tier one towers with living armor on them and couldn't beat it. I felt like they were just confused. Yeah. Because they didn't really know. They were like, we're supposed to take this tower, and then what? They don't know what to do when that failed. Yes, I think so too. And, okay, so just taking a look at tomorrow, 
uh, the last day, we've got... Who does Thunder play? Thunder has to play Liquid. Oh. And OG, they get to play Windstrike. Wind strike. Strike. Okay, Thunder absolutely has to win against yes. OG now. They have to at least take one game. And the right. other teams that are nearby them that are still susceptible, LGD have to play Mineski. And Fnatic has to play EG. And Fnatic has to play EG. So for OG, they could potentially just do it right here. If they take yes. this game, I think it's very likely with how they're surging that they 2-0 win strike. Yes. If either Fnatic or... If Fnatic... I mean, Fnatic or Thunder lose their series, then that is a top four for OG. Yeah. And it's very likely considering who they have to play against. Yes. EG versus Fnatic. And what is the other one? Thunder versus... Liquid. Liquid. Those are very those likely... Those are the guaranteed top two already. Yeah, and so those are very likely 2-0s because they're still playing for seeding. Yeah. If Liquid wins 2-0 against EG, then they're still in the running for the seeding. Right. And all of a sudden, OG, who started this tournament in the dumpster, they could very easily just be in top four, just like that. All right, guys. We are going to take a short break, but the second game is going to be super exciting. OG versus VGJ Thunder coming up soon.
Welcome back, everybody. It is the final game of the day for stream three. Stream yes, sir. C, whatever we call it. OG versus VGJ Thunder. If you didn't watch and missed game one, it was a intense game between OG and VGJ Thunder. VGJ Thunder started off with the lead pretty early and then trying to push mid over and over and over again because the mid tier one tower got very low. And then the core Seb Tree and Protector just kept it alive with living armor and kept baiting VGJ Thunder into bad fight after bad fight and Ten basically threw away their remaining. advantage, prolonged the game. Yeah. I want to point out, by the way, Five seconds uh, remaining. I guess we've casted so many OG VGJ games that I'm starting to get Thunder's a little bit attached to them. To Aside from that one game against Maneski where they had support sniper, uh -huh. I think they've been at like a 5K deficit at some point in every single one of these games that we've seen. Mm. And they still manage to just... They have a lot of resilience here. And, and, I think and you you were pointing out how important the laning phase is. Yeah, I mean, that they... seems very impressive. They're getting... A lot of these games, they're just getting crushed to start the game. And I think if your team is mentally weak, it'd be very easy to just kind of call it quits. Mm -hmm. But what is very impressive to me and what stands out is the fact that their players are making just great individual plays to get them back into this. Like, Jerex on this Winter Wyvern is... He's reminding of he's reminding me of Jerex of old, where you're just like, man, this guy is ban worthy of certain heroes. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they're taking different turns, Ten like different players are taking remaining. turns, just straight up carrying game sometimes. Yeah, we talked about how. Five um, seconds remaining. We had Anna Phantom Lancer earlier today. We had uh, Jerex doing a great job on the Winter Wyvern. Uh, Seb had that game where he carried on the Nature's Prophet yesterday, which was really amazing. They're they're just all step. Somebody is stepping up every time. Thompson had a very good Monkey King game. Yeah, th that was a good Monkey King game. And we we kind of analyzed why Monkey King would not have the easiest game. Yeah. And he still managed to make it work. So. Yeah. Necrophone's gonna be banned out by OG. Uh, a first pick Weaver. Again, Weaver's just not being banned. And I feel like PGJ Thunder were very happy. With Siler and his Weaver performance just wasn't enough to carry the game. I mean, Siler was an absolute beast. Yeah. Siler went insane on this game, but uh, just wasn't oh, able to geez. get it done. And I think a large part of that has to deal with that. Is, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I feel like they're getting real comfortable yeah. with this Jerex Winter Wyvern. They're just saying to themselves, okay, it's dominating. We're just going to keep letting it ride. No one's been able to stop it. He's just dominating on this hero. He's just had all-star performance after all-star performance. The guy's just crazy. And the hero that Seb carried with yesterday, Ten uh, seconds this Nature's remaining. Prophet, it was pretty scary. Five seconds Why, what, do you like Nature's Prophet versus uh, Weaver, though? Uh, I think it's kind of an interesting case. Probably the timing of it is pretty good in the laning phase. It's terrible. And then you'll be able to get a faster Orchid, which yes. threatens the Weaver quite a bit. So I think Thunder, they're thinking to themselves, well, there wasn't anything really wrong with this lane. If anything, it dominated. Yeah. So, so we're not going to change things too hard. This part we're keeping. I uh, I liked uh, Siler's idea of the Maelstrom as well. Yeah. To give himself like a little bit more magic damage Ten and to seconds, push out remaining. waves faster. It's a good idea. Five just seconds remaining. Again, I can't help but thinking if like VGJ Thunder just understood how to be able to handle the tree and protect and living armor a little bit better. And just like they could have just calmed down and set up the fight set up the push rather better, right? You got to you got to make sure you get the team fight first and then kill the tower, not just bum rush the tower and uh, run into a team. They fight. saw a 45 HP tower oh, and they yeah. got baited by the glyph. They got baited by the glyph. They thought they were like, "Oh, well, the, the, the thing is normally it's okay to just suicide one one core hero for that mid tier one tower." Yeah. They were thinking, "Okay, we'll just lose our tiny or our weaver, it doesn't really matter. It's, it'll be a null death." But they forgot that this is not a normal support treant that's like level five at this point. And he doesn't have any living out. armor. Ten yeah. Max max living armor. They got baited hardcore. VGJ Invoker. Thunders, VGJ back. Thunder took a while to to identify that ban, but I'm pretty sure that's yeah, always one knows. you put in. Do do you think OG ever upgrades the Thompson Invoker to one two? I don't think so. Invoker's just not good enough hero for that, right? Yeah. But I think in the second phase, it's a very value ban. Uh, tiny. 
banned Ten by OG. Remaining. I feel like people are going to start banning this Wyvern, though. Five seconds once they see Jerex play with it once. Yeah. The other teams probably just don't see it, but... OG Especially if you want this Weaver Vengeful Spirit. Like. Mm -hmm. They're not TNC. Is it TNC that's sick against uh, not getting Wyvern ulted? Yeah. Yeah. TNC's TNC really was good really good that. about that. Super strong spacing and their match against OG. We covered that pretty early on. All right, so we're going down the the list of tops and heroes. He pretty much has to play Lena. Ten seconds <laughs> remaining. That's the I've only seen him play four heroes. Yeah. Five seconds remaining. Pull it up. What a uh, pull up the drafts. So Monkey King, Lena. I mean, we've seen all the games from today. Yeah. He did um, Pugna, which was already banned. Oh, geez. Did the Turn Invoker. Against Fnatic, he did Invoker. Mm -hmm. Mineski, he had the Lena. Mm -hmm. Then the Pugna. Mm -hmm. All right, we didn't see the EG game. He did Monkey King. <laughs> and he did Tiny? Okay. Topson can. Well, Tiny's banned. I'm not sure. I see Arc Warden and Centaur and Wind Ranger. Ten seconds remaining. Oh no, he was uh, Arc Warden Thompson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So Five he's got some heroes. Remaining. We know about that. Uh, Monkey King. I mean, the Broker. redemption story of Monkey King. VGJ. Potentially Thunder. both these teams. As Thunder also had, weren't they also in the dumpster? After yes. One? Uh, both of them was like two losses down, basically. I think at the start of day one. After day one, Thunder was one in five. One in five. And OG was one in three. After that, they were three and five and three and five. And Windstrike just won on like the worst run ever. Ten seconds remaining. Damn. Windstrike lost all four games that day. That sucks. Five they got, seconds remaining. There was some stuff that happened. Earthshaker banned. Or pick, sorry, for OG. Broodmother was the ban. So I'm just looking at all the series tomorrow. So day four, Storm has to play Serenity and VP, I believe. So if they 2-0 Serenity and they get 2 would by VP, then they would have four losses. Okay. OG's turn to pick. Has arrived. Dark Willow for VGJ Thunder. I think that is always feels pretty good against Wyvern. It's a hero that is not as threatened by Nature's Prophet. And you, I think you want some more team fight. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you're Ten not like all in remaining. on physical damage, which they were being so hard countered by Cold Embrace last game. Five seconds and it's really remaining. nice against Cold Embrace. Yeah. You're just kind of stuck there and you die instantly. Yeah, you just get... Bedlamed. That's the name of the ability. Bel Bedlam. Da -da 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 that is... Probably the worst sound effect I've heard so far. I right, dude, I've been awake for a really long time. Hush. Like, oh. Wait, let me actually. You think Dark Willow pulls out her magical machine gun? All right, show me. Show <laughs> me <laughs> this <laughs> out, then. Okay, show me what you think this. Out. I'm closing my eyes. I mean, I it's hear definitely it. higher pitch. That's a hi. Uh, I mean, first of all, it's it's kind of a whooshing noise. So, whee, 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 whee. that's the sound of the thing going around, and then the noise itself is. Whee, 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 whee. Okay, remaining. so one's for my noise, two for Cap. Dude, mine, mine was Five definitely better. Remaining. Even if it was terrible, it was definitely better than yours. One's for mine, two for Cap. <laughs> Morphling picked up by uh, OG. We'll find out in a second. It's almost unanimously one. No, there. what? There is so many twos there. You kidding me? You are blatantly lying. Do you, do you guys, the the guys you are saying ones are literally only just doing it because because they know it was so bad. Okay, say ones for for my noise and your favorite Chinese poem name for caps. <laughs> what? what? <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, there's one guy who's like, I study Chinese literature. I got this. This is my <laughs> moment to shine. Just for this one moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Thank you, worthless literature degree. <laughs> we got uh, Morphling. Why Morphling? Um, it's just 
I don't know, actually. Is Weaver even bad versus Morphling? I don't think it's that bad. don't think it's great, though. Man, they're all spamming Chinese. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm getting owned right now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I told you mine was better. Oh, geez. Turn to bad. Under Underlord. All right. Well, Underlord is a very good hero versus Morphling and Nature's Prophet. I... VGJ Thunders turn to ban. I will cautiously allow this for VGJ Thunder. Dude, I hate Underlord. I hate Underlord too. I he feels like a terrible hero right now, but it's it's not bad. And it works really well with Dark Willow. I hate Underlord so much. Ten seconds remaining. I mean, why do you hate? Do you hate it because you think it's a bad hero right now? Yeah, I think Five it sucks. Okay. Uh, then we're in agreement in that regard. VGJ Level one is bad. He can't really do anything. But you got it. You got to give it to him. He's good versus more fling and nature's what's, profit. What's Underlord's record at this tournament? I don't know. He's like zero and two. VGJ Thunder, Thunder lost with it specifically. I remember. I think I saw. I know that Sam H lost with it. I casted that game. We casted that game. You if I casted, casted that, that game. game. <laughs> <laughs> we casted that game. Uh huh. I don't even, honestly. Yeah, TNC, I don't know. It was day was... one, so I didn't really cast that game. <laughs> I had two hours Five of sleep that day, but. OGs, turn to Last pick, Alchemist for VGJ Thunder. Let's go, China. Freeze. I want to see. Okay, doing it up. Even though I'm on the OG train, because I just feel this connection to watching them overcome adversity time and time again. Uh huh. At the same time, I want maximum drama. And this series going 1-1 one, one yeah, would definitely see me with the that 1-1 one, one uh, He is 1-3 right remaining. now. 1-3 okay. losses. 25%. And Five VGJ Thunder remaining. is one of those losses. Mm. Oh, wait. Did they? Did they lose to Winstrike? No, no, no. They're the only win. They're the only win? They're the only win. They know something, then. I mean, or, this is, or they played Winstrike. This is a very good Alchemist game. Did you just say Alchemist? Oh, that's an Ursa. That is an Ursa counter to the Alchemist. Dude, I see Ursa lose a lot of games lately. Yeah. But he's going to get a free lane against Freeze. Potentially. And he's super good versus Underlord. Somebody said that uh, Yang Underlord doesn't lose boys. So we've got a VCJ Thunder fan in chat. Yo. Go you. I mean, I don't, I don't really know any offlaners who identify. Okay, maybe snaking. Snaking was pretty good with the helmet dominator sort of thing. But mm -hmm. like, I don't know any offlaners who like to identify themselves with Underlord because it's just really not a hero you stand out That's on. That's an old eleven hero. And and while Yang, and sure, old eleven. Ten seconds but remaining. while Yang did play a very good Underlord, I don't, I don't think Five seconds he wants remaining. you to know him for that. This is what I'm saying. What do you want to know Yang for? What does Yang want to be known for, then? Not Underlord. Dude, Underlord's a cool hero. He kind of stands there, and then he goes, Underlord. <laughs> Underlord? <laughs> this big, fat, okay. four-legged, two-armed demon okay. goes, there's a, Underlord. There's this guy named James that works at Twitch, and he, he posed this question to us, okay? Okay. And Kevin actually thought about this way too hard. Okay. Purge, that is. Yes, that he makes said, sense. Are underlords, you know, his like his appendages below his arms? They are legs. Are they? Does he have four legs or? He has two four arms? legs, two arms. Okay. I'm I'm nailing that down. I don't have to think about it. I know that is. Dude, if he's walking around on them, those are legs. Okay. And he's got two arms. He's a centaur, basically. That's a I think centaur so too. We would agree with that. What did Kevin say? I think he's got four legs. Kevin agreed with the four legs. Okay. We were all at that table. We were all in agreement of the four legs. But he showed me a Discord group where they argue this way too much, and he's in the minority. I think it's I think what? it's four legs, two arms. Dude, let's just look at the 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 feet on. Those are not dexterous. They have muscles. Right? They are different. They are different. But the, at the, the same feet time, on them. they don't do anything but walk. Yeah. <laughs> well, well. Those are definitely legs. That's a centaur, man. 
I mean, I, I can see where they're coming from because his back feet are different from his yes, front feet. Yes, that's exactly what James said. But yes. at the same time, I feel like those are four feet. Almost 100% that's four feet. People are saying two legs, four arms. Like, way too many people are saying that. That is the stupidest hot take that I've heard in this Twitch chat so far. That is four, that is four legs, 100%. I mean, maybe they, maybe, like, he, maybe they think of him like a gorilla, you know? Yeah, that's, that is gorilla, what people think gorilla, like so. the four-man, you know? They, no, but I think it's more of a centaur thing. I, I mean, I think it's more of a centaur thing. Hey, yo, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's blocked in. Healing Salve is going to be able to heal him up quite a lot, but he's still kind of blocked in. His team is trying to bail him out, but Fate... Oh, that was not the Splinter Blast. No tail? No tail. You had that kill, homie. Oh, he's going to lose the kill now. He's going to... What? No, that is not a Jerex Wyvern. Wouldn't you want the Arctic Burn anyway? What? They're going to go up for it again. The level one Firestorm is laid out. And they are going to take a lot of damage from that, but they're still going to charge forward. They cannot not afford to give up those bounty runes and fade. He gets another Shadow if he Realm. He gets the kill on kill no tail, no tail, no tail. You're going to die for your sins. <laughs> Woo! Get Arctic Burn, you fool. That's what I'm talking about. The 1-1 one, one dream. Maximum drama. <laughs> <laughs> give it to me. So we had bounty. So only one bounty rune was picked up for this alchemist. The other three was given to uh, to OG, and they got the first blood on Fade. Wait, they got three bounty runes on OG? Yeah. Yeah, they, they got three of them. Okay. No way. Oh, oh nice deny. Well, I'm played, so well, hyped played. for the one one. I mean, I like OG. I don't even know any of their players very well, but I want. I we've casted so many Blitz of their games. <laughs> that is true. We've casted a lot of their games. I need Vici J to win because I need maximum drama. Try to go for the last hit. Thompson misses out on that range creep. Really important. You don't get the experience to this alchemist. Otherwise, he'll get the acid spray. Am I a terrible person and for wanting to? He'll start them winning this lane to fight for their lives. Yes, kind of. I mean, they're not no. one strike. I don't feel that bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you weren't a terrible person before, but with that comment, now you are. DDC. With Siler and Fade, they're going to go full aggro try lane here to try and give Yang a uh, a solo lane where he can get levels. But he's matching an Ursa, so he doesn't feel good. Thompson is just trading hits right now. Thompson? I like the fact that Thompson... I like that OG's doing this. This laning phase situation. Because Morphling doesn't want to match into the, uh, the Underlord at all. Yeah. Too low. He stays too low. So Underlord's like 150 damage that he gets pretty early off the bat. It's going to do quite a bit. Although and then your Atrophy Ore is like super value. There's zero chance that he just dies to Acid, right? Yeah. Like I... And while initially I said, okay, you want the Ursa into the Alchemist, like if you can beat down this Underlord and Morphling might be able to win the lane against Alchemist, I don't know how this one goes. I don't know. He's owning right now. He's, he's got 14 CS. 14 and 6, so he's doing really well for himself. I can't, I can't imagine, like, once he gets a level 2 Acid Spray, I can't imagine this goes super well for yeah. Thompson, but we'll see. Freeze in mid is not doing an excellent job. He's just missed too much CS, so he's not going to have a, a good bottle timing. That's really going to hurt his Acid Spray spam. I feel like Seb just plays tree-based heroes, and he's fine. Train Protector. Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet. Centaur's a man of the trees. And Harry Potter, he comes from the forest. Ah. <laughs> that, that is true. And it's going to follow Yang to the bottom lane. They're going to keep up with them. Uh, why is everyone tipping Silent? What just happened? I have no idea. Oh. All right. Well, that made me miss the mid lane kill where Thompson kills the Alchemist. So I guess Morphling really can dumpster Alchemist. Yeah, he's beating him in CS. And now he just got, is that, was that a solo kill? Looked like it, yeah. There's nobody around. Dyer's top tower is under Wait, no. Uh, no Tail's got two assists. So I believe No Tail was there for that as he's starting to get pretty low here. Fade. Fade might be able to kill No Tail. But Anna does manage to run down Yang. Fade is still going to go for this kill, though. Splinter Blast bounce back. Does manage to slow down Fade a little bit. Anna's going to try and go for this kill. Shadow Realm is up, though. Look at Fade. He knows he can tank this a little bit more before he pops the Shadow Realm. Anna hides in the trees, though, to make sure he doesn't take that big hit of magic damage. 
I think you'd prefer to have the Ursa against the Underlord. I think that's why they drafted. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, so, again, if Morphling can beat oh, an Alchemist, which clearly he can, then you're going to win two lanes at it, least. It helps that they got the the rotation from No-Till to get the kill on him. Damn, No-Till's just styling on Yang and CS right now. Slowing him down. They immediately go on to Ana at the same time, though. So making sure that Yang is going to be able to collect a lot of this CS, but the range creep, that is one of the problems. Same problem with Darkseer. Range creeps are worth so much, so your Firestorm becomes a liability to your experience. That's a good point. Dang, I didn't even think about that. You smart. Thanks. He gets boots. Ursa gets phase boots. Mid, freeze. I'm going to gonna watch Yang die again. Yang's not going to die again. Dude, Yang is definitely going to die. Yang's not going to die. Get out of there, Yang. Walk on your four legs. <laughs> <laughs> Use those arms. Oh, he's so dead. He is mega dead. So small. And it's going to pop the healing cell. Top lane. Anything going on here? Maybe. There's going to be something going on soon. Fisher block onto Siler. Gets hit by the aftershock as well. Siler's oh, going to die, Siler. maybe. Ooh, 30 HP. He's going to grab some bounty rooms, though, for his team. And the shrine is available. But once DDC. again, DDC is getting low. Seb is. So oh, body silent. block him! Ah, he didn't have enough HP. He didn't stay ahead of him. Still, this all the lanes are going really well right now for OG. The bottom yeah. lane, the mid lane. Yang is migrated to this uh, mid lane. And Alchemist is just playing full time jungle. Most Alchemists yes. seem to do this. Level four. Because every single lane they face up is usually really bad for them. Hey, Siler doesn't have Shikuchi though? again. He's going to get hit by that aftershock. And uh, Fisher goes out. He managed to get the bugs away. Ooh. Drifts on out. DDC gets as much damage onto Jerex as possible while the bugs are still there. Yeah, look at that there. teamwork. Seb sees that uh, Jerex is lower than he is. So he focuses on his bug first. Siler's going for it, though. Siler. That, OK. Well, okay, the Shrine goes down getting his Jerex. bottle. We're just getting gets his bottle. bottle. Yeah. Okay, I thought he was going for... Seb. Gets hit by the stun. Does have a raindrop that'll protect him a little bit, but the follow-up here from Fade is going to make this one? difficult. Jarex does manage to get a Fisher block Jarex inside. Is so Siler, good. he does have a Shikuchi, Siler, but he's still stuck inside the tower range, so he's dead, and they can't Yo, get out of the shadow realm. Too. Fade is dead as well. What a hit from Jarex. Fade will die. DDC is going to be caught up by the Treants. Get in front of him, and you could body block him. Oh, keep up that body block. Seb, just keep doing it to him. Just keep styling on DDC. Another block in. The block boys return, and VJ Thunder lose their tri lane. Look alive, Seb. Flex on the haters. Whew. I know I said I wanted the maximum drama, but I kind of want to see Reddit get salt here. <laughs> it's a win-win, really. Oh, man, Siler has abandoned that lane. He wants no part of it anymore. And remember, Siler from game one, the part of the reason he looked so good, he was just farming nonstop. He was farming and then getting no-tail kills. That was just like his day-to-day. -day. I'm going to swap lanes here as Freeze. The the vision, they're going to be able to slow him down. Great kill. That was a beautiful setup between the two of them. They really judged that perfectly. And a block. They're going to know about the ward, though. Yeah, for thing. sure. But Yang, he could be caught. Jarek's going to run right next to him. Manage to get the aftershock hit with the enchant totem. Follow up. Fisher blocks. Yang in. is dead. Oh, Another kill as 9-2. to two. This is the first time since the sniper support that I have seen OG win a laning phase. They've won all the games. Yeah. But this is the first time I'm going to see them. Maybe this is some weird reversing and they're going to get crushed. Who knows? But Thunder are not keeping up right now. More than a kill a minute so far for OG. And Thunder, I feel like last game tilted them a little bit. Yeah. But they still have an Alchemist. So there are still ways for them back into this game. For sure. It's just easy to be a hype for a team that's getting so many kills. They're on 5k gold right now, just eight minutes. Slowing them down. Do you manage to steal some oh. of those neutrals? That's pretty important. Freeze hopping his way back in. He's like, oh no, my stack. No tail. He's out. Steals it and he's gone. And Freeze is like, please, They're tilted. I'm begging you, de-ward this. He's like, guys, we know that there's a ward here. Somebody do something about this. As Topson, 380 HP, but Look at Seb. He's playing defensive at the perfect moment. 
I mean, they're taking mid tower. They're just, just like past the tier one, cutting creep wave. So Seb knows he's like, there's got to be some heroes down here in this bottom. There are three heroes here for quite some time. As Siler's finally going to go for the dive anyway. Managed to get the bugs on top of him. They have no stun. He canceled the teleportation and turned around and try and hit Siler, but it was a bait. Is he going to get, get hit by the stun? The magic missile hits him first. Jarek's going to come in, try and stun up Siler. Hits the Fisher onto both of them. Siler does have the Shikuchi, though, oh, and now he's trapped inside bramble. of the Brambles. He can't really get out of here. DDC has another stun coming forward. Siler will clean that one up while mid lane, they kill Yang again. But at least VGJ Thunder do manage to get some tip, farm. Tip, tip, They're all tipping Seb. Oh, I love it. Dude, what level is he? Gang is still level five. This man is suffering. This I mean, is why, I mean, we were talking about why we don't like that one hero, uh, Underlord. Yeah. Just, I just don't like this hero. It just feels... Dude, uh, it already feels pretty useless if you've got farm. I just, when it doesn't have farm, it feels so bad. I remember I was telling you, there's, in this weird meta of where everyone dual lanes, it just doesn't feel like it does enough. DDC is going to be caught in the tops and turns into a vengeful spirit to hit him with a magic missile. Got to put that importance on controlling the map. They've already taken the towers. Now they can just control the areas, make sure the bounty runes don't filter in for the alchemist. Bottom lane is starting to get pressured. Everyone down here is Siler going to make his way forward. He's got to be careful here, though. No tail, not level six. I hear an Underlord ult being popped, and it's going to be to the tier two. Ooh, Thompson takes a good amount of damage there from Siler. What's the defense here as... Siler is going to run into no-till here. Chased away a little bit. Yang will be able to clear through a lot of these creeps, but now the Siege Wagon's here as well. Siler forced into a time lapse. And this is buying a lot of time for Jerex in this mid lane. Yeah, he's... He may have a very fast blink dagger if this kind of space continues. No-tail. Nice little juke around the brambles. Fade does have his level 6, though. And that is the one big thing. Dark Willow does not give you that much laning phase pressure. Not a great support in that regard, but once he hits six, the game does change pretty heavily for you. Dyer's bottom tower. Deny on the offlane tower, Freeze is spotted again while he's trying to jungle. He's just giving no space, no peace of mind anywhere he goes. And they're gonna do Roche. They've got the Furion Ursa combination. All you need is something to tank for the Ursa, and it's a free age of super early on. He already has the Blink Dagger. Watch this boy go mega aggro now. A Blink at 11 half minutes in and an Aegis on top of that. He can be fearless. So far, so good. So it's a uh, 6,000 gold lead. Everyone on the side of OG seems pretty fearless at this point. DDC trying to stack up with a wave of terror. He's got a nice little triple stack here. Siler's going to run into Jarex. Jarex, he was hoping to be able to cut over, but now maybe Siler can actually kill him. Gets the bugs on him. Has to be a little bit wary, though. He has the Echo Slam, and they have the Winter's Curse to hold him in. Jarex is going to be able to get the combo stun. The Vengeful Seer is dead as well, so they're not going to be able to get... Oh, nice Terrorize, but it doesn't manage to save the, the Weaver. Weaver. The Venge Weaver oh, illusion. Oh, the Venge Weaver illusion ran Yang, down. Yang, get out of there. Yang, what are you doing, bro? My guy. Did you not get the memo? They're all here. Oh, the stacks are going to get taken now, too, by Topson. And the mid tier two tower is going to fall as OG. They are playing some reckless Dota. They don't care. They'll take everything from you as it now builds to 8k at 12 minutes. DDC slowed down. Anna, Blink Dagger coming up. One second. Doesn't want to go for it. No, not at all. As Freeze just continues to farm out. This is the guy that the entire game is on at this yes. point. None of the other heroes on the side of VG Thunder matter. I meant to say VG J Thunder. Sorry, Jeremy Lin. I like what I see. He's listening. DDC has a swap. He knows he's spotted, but he can't stop Anna. 
but they do manage to get the Brambles, plus the bug on him. Anna's going to try and deal with the bug, because he's already taking so much damage. They need to be careful, though. Jarex is here. Siler has to jump out, and they oh. do manage to blow up the Dark Willa before he could get the shadow. Oh, it was on cooldown. No Tell thought about using the curse, but... Bottom lane, Yang's trying to get away from Thompson. They're going to reveal him, and the ultimate, the Dark Rift, just isn't going to be able to get him away fast enough. Siler's still trying to hunt for supports, but they're all pretty healthy. That is the sixth death from Yang, and this is why we don't really Seize like no that tail. hero. They do have the Winter's Curse. No Tail's going to turn around. Winter's Curse him. Are they going to get it again? Fisher. See if they can control long the enough. Siler's still there. So, oh, so many stacks. DDC, he just died, and he's going to die again. They are just 19 getting run to 5, 11,000 gold lead. VGJ Thunder. Is it even possible for them to come back into this, Jerks? He's hunting freeze. This is the, you said this is the man. The game rides on him. Well, Jerex made a little bit of extra effort to hunt him down. He's going to make oh, sure that Freeze gone. can escape from Anna. And they're going into the high ground here. Kang, you've got to be careful. A basher up now for Anna. What? BGJ Thunder just had to play high ground now. They've got a core that's 0, 3, and 0. They've got another core that's 1, 3, and 2. And they've got a core that's 0, 6, and 1. The situation for Thunder is looking awfully bleak as the sp just the speed at which OG is playing is kind of crazy right now. It feels like they're getting better from game to game, too. Yes. The squad is starting to gain some confidence here as Jerex going to finish Locks them off yes. just to make sure they get the bounty rune, so all four of them will go to OG. Thanks, Odia. I'm really into that concept. I, I hope I survived. He answers that email. Yeah, you just keep bringing it up in every cast, and maybe he'll eventually <laughs> listen in. I'm so sorry, guys. For some, I, I find it so entertaining because I'm really stupid. <laughs> Straight Freeze. up. All right, there's Hannah. Good Gets God. the bash. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm so glad that eSports casting exists. I would not make it in any other field in this world. And I barely make it as is here. <laughs> As Thompson almost has a Lincoln's completed at 15 minutes. The Winter's Curse goes on to Yang. The Winter's He's Curse just and for his stalls death. him. Terrorize. Yang. Nice Not still banking dead. it out. He still gets hit by No Tail. Managed to get the Splinter Blast to finish him off. And Thompson preemptively just morphing into strength. Got a little bit worried, but... Drying all over the map. Jerex wants to go and kill Siler here. And Seb has an Orchid to be able to do it, too. Meanwhile... The rest of the team, they just keep on doing the Shadow Realm. Oh, they're actually going to be able to get the Brambles onto DDC. DDC. Thompson, this is not a bad little more for him to turn into. Bramble snags up Siler. He's going to go to the back line, see if he can actually kill No Tail pretty quickly. He might be able to do it. Big Shadow Realm hit. Not quite enough. Now the Sun lands onto Thompson, so No Tail does end up going down. Seb. Couldn't get the Orchid fast enough. Anna is going for freeze. Managed to get the bash too, and gets another round of Fury swipes onto him. Yang. Yang. He just keeps on beating up all hit. these tanky heroes. Anna finally goes down. It's the Aegis. They have to make sure he can't flick away. That's why the Shikuchi gets the instant damage. They have the purge to be able to swap. slow him down. Can they get a swap out? Can they get a sprout away? Something to be able to save Anna's oh, life. DDC. Magic Missile Sun. DDC in the back lines already dies to Thompson, but they're so focused on Anna. They need to be able to kill him, but Shikuchi, he has no mana. So Siler has to back up. Siler oh, may die if he doesn't turn Shikuchi away, and they're so done. VGJ Thunder, they are tilted for days. And they this may be got... the last game of the day, but they got a reset for tomorrow. They almost got two kills a minute. And they got more than a thousand gold a minute. This wow. was as complete a victory that I have seen any team play as OG. You can feel that they want it. They want it so badly. This will push them to eight and six. Oof. They will have as many wins as PSG have. They'll have one more loss and they'll be right there with Fnatic. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. We may see like some sort of three way or four way tiebreaker for those, uh, those two slots. I hope maximum. What about the bottom half of the group? The bottom half of the group, so uh, now this puts uh, VGJ Thunder at 6 and 8. Mineski's already at 5 and 9. So VGJ IG. Thunder have to like 2-0 uh, EG or Liquid or something like that? That's uh, one of the teams Thunder they face. VGJ Thunder has to play against... Let's take a look at the, this for you guys, because now I'm really emotionally invested. Uh, Thunder have to play against Liquid. <laughs> so they have to like 2-0 Liquid to yeah. kind of get back into that top four so, area. And then the other team, LGD, have to play against Mineski. And Fnatic, which is the other squad, have to play against EG. Whereas OG, the Plays surging OG, they get to play win strike. So if they 2-0, yeah. Fnatic 1-1, then that would mean that OG is a top four team. It doesn't matter what happens with PSG, I believe. Yes, that is so correct. So the head. OG squad of what, six months ago or something like that? 
the OG squad, Resolution, VGJ Storm doing very well. Most yeah. of OG doing very well. EG, Flying, and S4. If only those all doing very could well. Come together. And they, they it seems be. like they'd be an all star team. Yeah. But honestly, it's one of those situations where I, I think OG got better after they lost their superstar captain and their yeah. offlaner. I, I feel like this team, for whatever reason, it just kind of works. They're resilient, they play hard, mm -hmm. they've got good, varied strategies. At the same time, I'm very disappointed in Thunder because I felt like at least game one, if they were if they were they mentally tough, that. even when they didn't get that first fight, yeah. if they reset themselves, they collected themselves. You and didn't set really out the strategy that. just better, right? Exactly, and I felt like that was what was missing for them. But, and that's been the case for two of these teams. The IG series that we casted earlier today yeah. was maybe the most disappointed that I've been in any team here. Like, screw Windstrike or whatever, or Serenity when they do their random stuff. IG had free wins. And yes. you could just see that they mentally, it felt like they mentally quit. Doesn't matter, because I'm here for good Dota and maximum drama. So far, we have that. I've been hyped. This is the hypest you're going to see me. Yes. Ooh. One more day. Eat your hearts out because Seb played excellently. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? At the end of the day, Blitz identifies with other people being flamed by Reddit. And on that note, we're going to close out the cast. Thank you very much for watching the third stream. Stream C, whatever we're calling it. Thank you so much for joining us because you could have been at any of the other games. You could have been watching EG Liquid. I'm sure that wasn't a big deal. I'm sure that was. Y'all are such morons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.